These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. I'm Nicole Gregg with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Police say a tip is helping them identify a teen's body found in a yard in Glendale. We brought you the story yesterday showing you the tattoo that investigators hope someone would recognize. What we know from officials is the body is believed to be the body of a 16 year old white male who was reported missing at a Queen Creek. Police tell us the person who drew it called and identified the body. The 16 year old teen was last seen in October of 2023 and since been at the location during that time. According to officials, they say there is no threat to the public. Abortion in Arizona taking center stage as Attorney General Chris Mays releasing her general opinion on Arizona's abortion law. Here's what she had to say. Those seismic changes in the law and the strict abortion bans that have followed have put healthcare professionals in Arizona in uh, impossible impossible situations. This opinion comes just days before a group expects to deliver hundreds of thousands of signatures to get the issue on the November ballot. The deadline is next Wednesday to submit the signatures to the Arizona Secretary of State's office. The group Arizona for Abortion Access is hoping to get voters to decide on a constitutional amendment that would allow abortions up to the point of viability, which is around 24 weeks. Weeks. But the group, it goes too far, is pushing against the potential ballot measure because they believe the language is too vague. ABC 15 is committed to staying on top of this sensitive topic for you. ABC 15 is on wildfire watch tonight. We're tracking the Boulder View fire burning near North Scottsdale. At last check, the fire was around 500 acres with crews working to protect structures. Stick with us online and ahead at 10 for the very latest. ABC 15 following up on a story we have been keep keeping tabs on since February. Over the past few months, we have told you about efforts to restore Bisbee's historic Main Street after that Valentine's Day fire. Part of the street there still closed. Now the owners of the building where the flames started will have to pick up the bill. They are set to pay around $160,000 and will have to transfer ownership of the building to the city. Scripps News asking the mayor what could come next for this historic building. We can try and sell it and, and recapture more of the money. We could keep it and do something different with it. Now the city is asking for public input on what to do with the building. It seems like every holiday has brought record breaking travel levels and this Independence Day won't be any different. AAA telling ABC News an estimated 71 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles from their home across the next two weekends. That includes more than 60 million Americans traveling by car. A AAA spokesperson says remote work flexibility is contributing to these numbers. We're seeing that some people are going to choose to leave that Saturday or Sunday before July 4th, work remotely from their destination Monday or Tuesday, and then take the rest of the week off and then come back the following weekend. The good news, a longer travel period could mean less congestion on popular roads during typically busy travel days. AAA says the best way to avoid traffic is to travel as early or as late as possible. Tracking your forecast, I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sullins, and we continue with this hot, dry weather here in the valley. Tomorrow, lows only dropping into the 90s early in the morning before we heat back up above 110 degrees in the afternoon. Air quality is going to get worse, too, with an ozone high pollution advisory in effect for tomorrow. So we want to limit your time outside in the afternoon. If you have any kind of respiratory issue like asthma, bronchitis, COPD, you may have difficulty breathing otherwise as this pollution builds in. All of us. 
us if we can try to carpool, ride public transportation, or even just work from home if you can. That will help prevent the problem from getting worse. Even just refueling your vehicles after dark or avoiding idling in long drive through lines throughout the day tomorrow. No storms in our forecast help kind of clear off that air, but we will see some pop to the east and southeast in the heat of the day tomorrow. For the valley, our chance for storms will come back into play Sunday and next week. But air quality alerts will continue through Monday as temperatures stay above 110.